that's part of the problem. So um, now look at the, um, just look at the uh, chain, right? Let me see. Oh, the nose is narrow. All right, so the nose is narrow, right? And I can move the eye here to the right a little bit, reducing the space between uh, the nasion and the corner of the eye. So now, um, what I want to do, I want to block in the jawline, right? The jawline, and you see at the jawline, just in front of the ear, right? The base of the attachment of the ear to the head. I create, and you're gonna see it in a minute, I'm gonna create a sweeping curve line that connects with the chin. The uh, neck, right, if I look at this, the, the, how thick the neck is, look at the space between the jawline and uh, the back of the neck. And then we can check out, for example, the shoulder on the right, see that the back of the neck in relation to in relation to the jawline, right? how much space do I have there, right? So now, um, if I look at the uh, sh at the shoulder, uh, the trapeze is on the right. It's a little bit higher than the base of the chin. I can block in the line. Same thing on the other side. See if we line up, we're gonna see it in a minute. I right? see the how where the chin is in relation to the trapezius trapezius is in relation to the chin, right? Now the other side, the other trape the, uh, side of the shoulder, there are the left trapezius is uh, actually the right trapezius is also lined up with the chin here, and I block in the uh, the the shoulder the trapezius. So we have this nice. Um, color here, we look at uh, the negative space of the hair, of the pattern of the hair, under the ear, that, okay? and um, it looks at, look at that as a triangle, look at that as a triangle, um, we come down now with uh, the neck, and just below the hair, we have this color coming down, widening, when we draw the color, check out the space between, uh, see the triangle of the hair, right? Uh, when we draw in the, um, the, the, the the color, check out the space between the line of the jaw and the margin of the color. And it goes on the other side like that. So we don't need much of this, right? We don't need much of it, just a little bit, just to give a, give the, the head a, a base, right, a base. Now, I look at my drawing and I'm thinking, okay, start. let's start fixing it up, right? Let's start fixing it up. Um, I look at the forehead here and it's too wide. It looks too wide to me, so I need to narrow the head, right? Now we narrow, now we kind of work a little bit more um, precisely because we have, again, established um, somehow a known entity and position facial features, but we need to we need to refine the measurement now, right? So um, probably what it is is this space between the nasion and the side of the face is too wide, so I need to narrow it. I'm going to redraw the profile, eyeballing it, right? And if you if you look carefully, you're going to see that in the, the original drawing, you do see that kind of uh, um, measuring line, a right? tentative line, just to just just to establish measurement, right? Of course, they probably can, they, they they have been erased or, or cleaned up. Um, when you do this kind of work, you want to have um, uh, you want to keep your lines as light as possible. I'm making them, again, darker, because you can see them, but you just have to make it just barely visible, just barely visible, right? Try, try, to, try to get a, 
uh, try to differentiate the type of mark, the type of line that you make. Um, um, for example, the measuring lines, they had to disappear. You just need to see a tiny little bit of a spot. That's all you need. Um, don't mark them too, mark too much because they're going to create a... They're going to create a, a visual noise. They're going to create confusion. So um, try to make it very, very light, right? Okay, so I'm looking at the space above the um, eyelid and brow ridge, right? I'm looking now at... Uh, oh, he caught up. He caught up. Yay, he caught up. I'm looking at the space between the corner of the eye and the nose. See that? what it is right here. So I need to move down this corner a little bit lower. can see there are a few little bit of highlights here and there with, with white chalk, right? Um, the width of the nose is fairly narrow. I made it too wide and now I narrow that the nostril, the nostril is quite higher than the base of the nose. And you see how, how the, uh, the interior margin of the nostril is past, is past this line here, right? So it's, it's here. So maybe I need to widen up the nose and, and um, carve out this a little bit more here. So, um, so now I need to move the lips a little bit to the right, tiny, tiny little bit. I'm looking at the space. Actually, no, it's actually quite good. So see how the space between uh, between the uh, corner of the mouth in here, right? And the side of the cheek, look how narrow it is, right? See how small it is? So I wanna have the same measurement here, right? You see, see, see what I'm saying, right? Always don't take it personal. Don't take it personal. It's not, you're not thinking of this as Giovanni. You're thinking of this as measurement, right? Giovanni will come later, will come later. If you have done the measurement right, then it will become a person, it will become a, somebody with a thought, a life, um, idiosyncrasy. I missed his name when he started, it's Giovanni. I, I'm just saying, right? <laughs> you can call him whatever you want, right? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> just don't call me Saul. Yeah. There you go, right? So, uh, yeah. See what I'm saying, right? So now we see that this the map of New Jersey here is getting narrower than it was before, right? And the space now here is getting narrower. So we're really carving it out more and more precisely, right? Uh, so one thing that I invite you to do, guys, is to keep uh, keep your keep your uh, tool sharp. Because uh, um, with the sharp point, because this point is, uh, this piece of chalk has a very sharp point, but it also has a, a wide, um, even conical side here. And with this, we can make wide marks and soft marks. With the tip, we can make thin lines. We can do both. But if the point gets dull, we can only make dull marks. So it caught up, huh? Who knew, right? It's good. All right. So now let's look at the space here, the filter. See this filter over here? This, my, the space that I put in here is a little bit too big. So now I'm fixing it, right? So now we start thinking more and more about, uh, about the facial features and the organic aspect of the figure, right? So look at the, uh, the, the, the tip, the lips in here, right? Uh, look how small 
the lip here is very small right very small little curve line like that whereas this other lip in here a little bit higher than 